everybody! This time we meet each other in a school in Fousgier in France. We came here because games enter the classroom of Mr. Stefan Cloater and we are interested to see what happened. Let's explore. Uh, my name is Stefan Cloater and I teach technology in, uh, in the middle school, the Collège Jean d'Arc La Salle here in Fougère in France. I introduced a game-based learning in my classroom uh, five years ago because my main uh, objective was, uh, was to introduce more collaboration within uh, my student groups. Some video games uh, helped me to bring multiplayer experiences for my students. That was the main goal and give them a lot of opportunity to create and have fun at the same time. So that was the main goal at that point. And I discovered Minecraft at that step. Uh, I was wondering if it was possible because, in fact, I discovered a game, uh, Minecraft, with my own students and my children, and I thought it would be an amazing uh, tool to, for instance, uh, teach architecture, history, that kind of stuff. I was wondering if some other teachers use that tool. Is it effective? Can it re is it um, easy to implement in my own class? And in fact, I managed to connect with some teachers in uh, Northern Europe and United States and then I uh, felt really more confident to try it. Now, uh, I think I couldn't do without it, in fact, because it completely, uh, you know, uh, changed my way of teaching, my relationship with the, uh, with the children themselves and my connection to other teachers. It's a, really a tool that I would recommend. First is to try to ask the students which game they play, what is the, you know, the mood at the moment, and maybe for beginning uh, an interesting um, thing to do is to introduce a, a little workshop, maybe you know, during uh, students' free time, just to watch and observe students playing. And for instance, Minecraft, that was my own experience. I watched students, I observed them, and as I've seen so many connections with my own courses that then I was confident to use Minecraft. The lesson I used in, uh, with Minecraft at the moment is a lesson about um, building our future city. So it's based on the districts our, of our own, own city. And uh, it's connected and, uh, to the sustainable development goals. So students have to build a district in its, uh, in its current version and then imagine and uh, design um, solutions for this district to be more according and more respectful of sustainable de development goals. And so um, at first, students uh, had to do some research about all the functions of a city, what, uh, what are the needs of their inhabitants, what are the constraints when you create a building in a city, and then they are to observe the district in its current version and criticize it, have some critical thinking about their environment, and then imagine sol imagining solutions for that district, and then they build in Minecraft. So there is a lot of preparation before building in Minecraft, in fact. I have to help my students to get immersed in the story, to feel that they are architects, they're no longer students, they have a real role to play inside the classroom. So, you know, it empowers them. So my, my, my main goal is to empower them so when they start the activity, even if they don't play in the first step, they're really in, in the process and they want to, to achieve something uh, interesting and to create. So my main learning objectives are always based on my curriculum. So I never do without it. So my main objective in that subject is to be, students must be able to um, have some uh, knowledge about how a city evolves through time. They must uh, learn to collaborate. They must learn to identify functions uh, of a city or an object. And then when the students work and build, they have to use mathematical tools, of course, based on scale, materials. It must be really uh, accurately um, 
connected to reality, okay? So I just have to assess the skills and knowledge of my own curriculum during all the process. And at the end, they will have a kind of uh, project re review and they will have to present the solutions as they were working in an architect company to, you know, share all their ideas and try to convince the other students. My role is quite different, in fact, because I'm here to immerse them in a story and then I don't have to do anything almost. I have to prepare it, of course, but once it's launched, they just discuss, work, collaborate, draw, build, and when I'm in the classroom, sometimes they forget I'm here, and they ask me to come only when really needed. And this is important because sometimes students, uh, it's difficult for them to, be, uh, to develop autonomy. But in fact, they have experts in the classroom. Some students are experts in Minecraft. Why are you asking me some Minecraft uh, tips? You have that guy here, he knows Minecraft more than me. So they develop a way to collaborate when they identify all the expertise in the classroom. And my expertise is only needed when needed. Ce que j'aime dans ce projet, c'est bah, on peut construire plein de choses. Tout ce qu'on veut, c'est notre imagination. Ça permet de nous ouvrir à d'autres horizons et bah, de s'intéresser à autre chose que les matières principales comme le français, les mathématiques. Bah, ce qui est différent, c'est que bah, on peut s'exprimer euh, bah, naturellement. Enfin, on peut dire, euh, enfin, on est assez ouvert et on peut. Bah, c'est différent dans le sens où on peut toucher à des matières euh, bah, technologiques et on ne travaille pas sur papier. Enfin, beaucoup moins que dans les autres matières. Le plus, les plus intéressants, c'est bah, bah, déjà on a un peu une mission à faire avec. Et en plus, on est entre copains, donc c'est. Voilà quoi, c'est bien. Bah oui, j'adore, il y a la bonne ambiance, euh, tout le monde s'entend bien, on se répartit le travail, euh, bah tout marche quoi, après, faut juste être bien organisé.